So for harnessing a horse, what you're going to do first is you're going to take your empathy collar, turn it upside down, and then place it over the horse's head as shown. Then you're going to want to reattach your horse to cross ties so that way there's no chance for it to walk away as you're doing this process. Next, you're going to take the traces and place them so that way they're not in the way, preferably over the horse's back. This is done with this setup because the traces are permanently attached. Next to get put on the horse is the saddle with the backstrapping crupper. You carefully lay the apparatus over the horse's back. Sometimes it's very good to have a saddle pad underneath your saddle, but for showing purposes, it's not recommended. First, you attach your girth in order to secure everything on. You want the girth to be fairly snug, and then you move on to the back strap and crupper. The back strap lays gently over the horse's back. You unattach the crupper on one side and then place the horse's tail around. When putting the crupper on, you want to make sure that all the horse's tail hair is out of the way. That way, it cannot rub and cause the horse discomfort. Next, we're going to attach the breeching and loin strap. The loin strap is going to go through, is going to attach to two points of the breeching, similarly to how a normal um, similar to how a neck strap would attach to the breast collar. The loin strap then goes through a hole in the back strap. And then gets attached on the other side the same way that it was done on this first side. This breaching also has trace carriers attached to it, and so it is very important to put the traces through the trace carriers, and then through the back strap, which will then hold the traces in place so that way they cannot fall and trip the horse. Putting the trace carriers, putting the traces through the trace carriers now is very helpful for when you begin your hitching process so that way you cannot forget to do it later. At this point, you can either do or not do the overgirth as it is optional before you hitch. You can leave it done or undone. It is personal preference to be, or for whether or not it gets done while harnessing or just while hitching. Next to be attached are the reins. The reins will each go through one set of rein turrets each. One set is on the saddle and one set is on the collar. This is done on both sides.
Then for storage, since the reins are so long, they get folded in half and put through one of the rein turrets and then get attached to the overcheck or water hook. You always want to check the girth before you begin your hitching process to make sure it is tight enough. Also when harnessing, it's very important to make sure that all your straps are in their keepers. Finally, you will bridle your horse. It's always a good idea to make sure to have some way of controlling your horse while in the hitching process, harnessing process. So for this, we have a lead line just over the horse's neck. Next, the halter comes off the horse's head. And then to put the bridle on, you place one hand over the horse's head, which also helps to keep the horse's head down, and while the other hand puts the bit in the horse's mouth. The bridle then goes over each ear. And then the mane gets fixed, so that way it goes right around the face drop. The nose band goes behind or through the cheek pieces if there's a hole for it. Then the throat latch gets attached so that way the horse the bridle cannot go over the horse's head. The nose band is then adjusted so that way one or two fingers can fit behind it. Next, the reins get attached to the bit. This bit that we have is a liver pool, and so we're going to put it through the first slot of the bit because that is what this horse is accustomed to and works well in. Some driving horses will have a curb chain underneath the nose band so when you attach that you want to twist it so that way all the chains are lying flat against each other and then attach it onto the hook. So now we're going to go through the steps of unharnessing. When unharnessing, you go in the reverse order of how you put everything on. So you first start off by detaching the reins from the bridle. If your horse is on cross ties, which would be the most ideal scenario, now would be the time you pick up their halter, drape their lead rope over their neck so you have more security when taking their bridle off. When taking their bridle off, take into consideration not trying to shove the bit into their teeth and going slow as you take their bridle off. Now you're going to take your reins out of your tarots. And fold them in half nicely so they're easier to put away.
Next, you're going to take your traces out from the back strap, and since they're always attached to an empathy collar, drape them over the back of the horse, but just make sure the traces aren't touching the ground so they don't get stepped on. Next, you're going to unbuckle the loin strap that attaches the breeching. Make sure you keep hold on the breeching so it isn't hanging off the horse in case they were to spook. Now you're going to undo your overgirth. And immediately undo your crepper. and rebuckle your crepper so it can maintain its shape. Now you're gonna undo your girth and slide the saddle off. Lastly, you're gonna take off their empathy collar and just like when putting it on, you're going to turn it upside down so the widest part of the collar is going over their head. Make sure you flip it in the direction of the mane. And there you go. You've unharnessed a driving horse.